Hello my beautiful cancers and welcome to Let Ebony Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing your love reading. Thank you all so much for all your likes, your comments, your your likes, your comments and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. For anyone who's interested in booking a personal reading, all the information on how to do so is in the description box below. If you would like to follow me on my IG account for my upcoming tarot deck or for anything else, down below. If you are new here, welcome. How I read is I channel through the oracle. I clarify with the tarot and if there is time at the end, we get additional messages, okay? Please do remember the energies can go vice versa. Switch the genders, switch the roles. Do whatever you've got to do to, make, I wouldn't say make it fit, like for it to resonate with you. And if it doesn't, look out for your other signs, your other placements, particularly your Venus if you're looking for love. I always forget to say that in other readings. So, the overall energy, my beautiful Cancerians, we have taste at the at the the as the overall energy i was going to say at the bottom of the deck it says flavor sweetness pleasant expensive beauty and details okay then at the bottom of the deck we have lock and key S secret silence burdens and quiet interesting underneath that we do have tradition it says family value ceremony generational beliefs and groups so i definitely feel like somebody could be secretly watching you okay whoever's watching you or again this could be you like you watching somebody else, take it how it resonates, but someone is watching someone and they think that you're extremely beautiful and they feel like you have really good taste and that you pay a lot of attention to detail. So for some of you, you could be creatives of some sort, you could be very artistic, you could be um, musicians of some kind, whatever it is that you do, somebody thinks that you pay um, great attention to detail and also someone is paying attention to detail on you. So they're looking at your style and how you carry yourself. I feel like this person really admires it, but they're not telling you this. So someone is feeling some type of way towards you, but they're not expressing it. Maybe they feel stuck in some sort of way or they're just not sure how to express their emotions or they don't know how you feel about them, okay? There could also be some sort of differences between you and this person or they're thinking about um, taking things to a next level with you or they're seeing you as somebody who they can... um kind of be with and build with okay but there could be something traditional or very untraditional or unconventional about this relationship or this attraction okay so let's go in shall we so what is coming towards my oh beautiful cancers in love okay so we've got ancient comb sacred tools so there's definitely some of you could have like a past life relationship with this person or there's some sort of knowledge that you're coming into there's something that you're trying to comb through you're trying to dig up also again with the combs that represents beauty so this person thinks you're extremely gorgeous they may really love your hair or the way that you do your hair okay but i feel like you're definitely trying to find out about this person this person could li literally be like digging on some sort of information on you or they're thinking about how they can say something to you or this person kind of feels like they've known you for a long time okay so they feel like you're extremely mature with that ancient there. So what is coming towards my beautiful um, cancers in love? Oh, my goodness, flipping out today. All right, we've got appreciate the diversity within hair textures. Yeah, as I was saying, there could be some sort of differences between you, between you and this person. So it might not be like the traditional relationship or they might want to do something in a different way okay but they appreciating the differences within you they like there's hella beauty within this reading because um you know the flowers represent beauty and admiration so i feel like this person really does adore you they could be thinking about how to treat you as well or how to offer you something or what you like okay but i just heard pretty as a picture for some of you if this is somebody from your past they're watching you evolve now they could be watching you with somebody else and this is why they're not saying anything and this person kind of wants a new start and you could have blocked them because sometimes when i see this i think about like a gate or like a blockage or a barrier okay for others of you if you're not with someone there could be somebody from your past that's just kind of lurking at you and um they might want to bring you a gesture or a romantic gift or a romantic gesture to kind of like say sorry okay they're definitely like researching you and they want a new beginning because when i think about this i think about spring spring clean fresh starts okay but you know different strokes for different folks so what is coming towards my beautiful cancers in love gorgeous energy oh 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 my goodness guys got the deck the wrong way around so it says you are your hair at the bottom of the deck so you're extremely highly intuitive again something to do with your hair but these two came out i normally take one but i'm just going to take two because behind that we've got young natural love and we've got be a part of nature so i feel like this person sees you as somebody who 
they're supposed to be with like they want to nurture you for some of you you might have children or you might have children with this person with this nest egg here or this person wants to put a baby in you or they just want to connect with you okay but they just think you're absolutely gorgeous a lot of empress energy so you could be dealing with a libra virgo or taurus or somebody who has those placements within their chart or you do but this person definitely wants to grow with you okay so this is really really gorgeous so they just think you're absolutely gorgeous. That's what I keep hearing. Gorgeous. Like naturally beautiful. You've got a really beautiful aura about you, okay? So oh, gorgeous. Young natural love. So someone is definitely in love here. Oh my god, we got harmony. When I said this person wants to bring you something, and we got love. I mean, oh my god. Oh my god, how sweet is this? This could be something tangible as well. Sometimes when I see that it reminds me of like the ace of pentacles so this is kind of like could be like a divine connection or a divine union or the universe wants to bless you with something or somebody just wants a new um a new beginning with you okay so some of you could be meeting somebody new but definitely a lot of earth here but that's really beautiful and again with this paint some of you definitely could be dealing with like artists or painters or illustrators of some kind musicians writers poets okay I just heard the theater as well so we got contemplation that wanted to come out again with this um, heart attack type thing. Um, someone is definitely thinking about you. Now, somebody could be thinking again about your beauty with the butterfly or they could be thinking about your transformation, okay? They could be thinking about wanting to tell you something, wanting to share something with you, okay? But you're heavily on somebody's mind. I just heard, like, how are you so beautiful? Oh, my God, you're melting my heart, cancers. Oh, the love card wanted to show again. Like, please can't I be a part of nature and um no that's too many cards spirit and young natural love let's just get one card oh wow okay they said two cards so it could be dealing with a leo or somebody ha that has leo in their chart but it's like they really want to gather the strength to come towards you okay also this person sees you as very strong very powerful very courageous they like that again they want to make a family with you and create a lot of peace so that's really beautiful beautiful i can't speak today what's going on but yeah definitely a soul connection because these two cards wanted to clarify these two cards okay so you guys have got extras in this reading this is absolutely beautiful so this person sees you as a divine partner somebody who's been sent from the ancestors you could have an ancestral like connection or like a sort of like again with the ancient some of you might be um i just heard pharaoh okay or queens you know, you could have reigned kingdoms, like, in the past life, okay? But you've definitely got a spiritual soul connection here, okay? With all this rainbow, or it's like you're protected, but it's also like you're in alignment, or this person feels, like, in alignment when they look at you. So this is really beautiful. And also, again, this represents, like, communication, divine communication. So it's, like, literally the ancestors and the divine is blessing you with love. Or at least this person feels blessed when they look at you. Oh, oh my God, this is on fire, this is like really gorgeous energy, guys. Sorry, let's get that correct. All right, so let's see what is coming towards my beautiful cancers in love. Please come for harmony. Oh, oh. All right, what do we have? We got divine feminine. Did I not just say it's a divine connection? Did I not just say this person sees you as divine and an empress? Divine feminine here, mate. Divine feminine divinity all over the place so someone is looking at you like this or you could be looking at someone else like this gifts and offers i told you they want to bring you something oh my god please come my contemplation i'm very excited fertility did i not say this person wants to put a baby in you because they see you as a queen did i not say that you could have a queen like pharaoh kingship past life fucking royal type shit going on i'm also hearing as well that like power couple Oh my goodness some of you could definitely be the daughters of Oshun and this is also clarified in this row so something very significant to do with flowers here someone might want to bring you flowers okay they might be noticing that you like a lot of flowers and they just think that you're like just really pretty and really feminine okay a lot of feminine energy here but some of you could be mothers you could be pregnant um or like I said this person just sees you as somebody who they want to grow with okay oh gorgeous and oh look at the card that fell out guys look at the card that fell out boom we got soulmate on top of ancestral connection spiritual soul be a part of nature and young natural love i mean does it get any better than this does it does it i don't think that it does and at the bottom of the deck we got safe place and this is how this person feels like when they're around you okay 
Oh my goodness. Soulmate, love, divinity. So I don't know what that secret is. Like maybe they're not explaining like how they feel about you. Someone's like deeply in love here, man. This is absolutely not beautiful. Oh my god. Okay, please give us some good cards. Oh, the Queen of Cups. Oh, oh, oh. This person loves you. Okay. They love you. They love you. Five of Swords. Okay, what's going on? Who's jealous of this connection? Somebody could be very jealous. Um, like if someone is like not with you, I don't know. I feel like this could be this could represent mental conflict as well. So I feel like this person is very conflicted on how they want to express this. For some of you, you could be in a new connection, and this person is jealous because you're actually with someone who you're supposed to be with. They're planning to like come and destroy your happy home that you got going on there. But I feel like they're divinely protected, so don't worry about that. For others of you, somebody's just like I don't know, it's like when they look at you, they're just like, oh, like, I want to be with you. They're fighting with themselves about something. Okay. What is going on? Then we've got the high priestess here. So a lot of, like, secret energy. And then we've got the five of pentacles. So is somebody left out in the cold here? Somebody said to shuffle that again. Let me shuffle it again. All right. What else can you give us the divine? Thank you. Okay, the princess of swords. So someone's definitely watching you. And then we've got Magus underneath. The bottom of the deck, the sun god. So some of you could definitely be connected. I just heard to Atten, okay, um, this represents the magician, so, someone just thinks you're absolutely magical, someone has been watching you for a long time, they're watching you right now, they're studying you, okay, right, we'll find out what that five of swords is about, but yeah, it's on top of the card of contemplation, so someone's mentally conflicted about something, please clarify the queen of cups, maybe someone feels like you won't accept them, someone wants to make a decision here, and we've got the Knight of Cups that wanted to fall out with that. So someone wants to make a decision to come towards you and like offer something. And this is like true, a true offer of like love or um like romance because he's holding, even though he's a knight, he's holding a sword. He's not holding a cup. So he wants to speak truthfully about the way that he feels. And he looks like he's got a, like wings coming out of his head. So it's kind of like just, you know, he's all airy and fairy in love. This represents making a good decision and leaving something behind. So I feel like someone's coming towards you, the sun. We've got the sun god right here. So this is really gorgeous. And we've got queen of wands at the bottom of the deck. So heavy attraction. So let's clarify this five of swords, shall we? We've got the two of cups. Yeah, someone is jealous about this connection. We've got the two of cups and the soulmate. Oh my god. Someone's jealous. I don't know who it is. Could be a fire sign. We've got the devil. Someone is jealous. All right, please come find the Princess of Swords. Someone could also be conflicted about the connection. Like, they just don't know. Like, I'm just hearing this. It's too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. Please clarify the princess of swords. I'm just being so silly. Okay, we've got the world here. Then we've got the nine of pentacles. So I just heard, live in my life like it's golden. So some of somebody thinks that you're just an absolute golden aura, a golden being. They just see you looking good, feeling good, smelling good, tasting good. They feel like you're all that in a bag of chips. Or this could be how you're feeling towards someone else. It could be like an earth sign that you're looking at, okay? But um, the world card here, so someone definitely like sees you taking over the world. You are this person's world in their eyes. Just heavy watching you, okay? Someone wants a new cycle with you, a new chapter. For some of you, um, it could be over with a new person and you're coming towards someone else. But there's someone jealous here or there's just something conflicted or someone has not expressed their deep emotion for you. Okay, but there is a lot of emotion here. So this is really beautiful energy, right? Okay, so what else do we have? Can you give us some clarity, please? The spark between us is undeniable. We've got twin flame, guys. We've got twin flame. And we've got soulmate. And we've got Divine Feminine. I mean, come on now. What is at the bottom of the deck? I'm coming back to you soon. Did I even move that right? An eternal love. Oh. Right, let's just pull one more. I see you in my dreams. And Divine Feminine again. Oh, my God. This is actually quite a magical reading. 
All right, let's give a love yourself card. Thank you very much. My inner strength grows when I take time to nourish my soul. So for some of you, like you could just be single, really focusing on yourself. And somebody sees that, they find that very attractive. Somebody also may be thinking like, because you're so self-sufficient, self self-independent, like you might not need them or you might not want them. So I feel like that's could, that could be what the conflicting energy is. But you know, look at this, look at the sun. It says, I am open to receive peace, love, harmony, and joy. So you're open to receive this love. You're open to receive. You're telling the universe, yeah, send it to me, yes. Or somebody is, okay? Definitely could be dealing with a Leo, Libra, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, okay? Sagittarius, some, like, a Gemini. I was going to say some of the other air signs, <laughs> like. But this is really gorgeous energy. And I told you, somebody sees you as their son. Beautiful energy, man. This is this is just, this is gorgeous. I don't even know what else to say. This is gorgeous. If you enjoyed the reading, please do not hesitate to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I hope this resonates with somebody. But someone's in love with you. Someone is conflicted. Somebody doesn't know what to do. Find out in the next episode of... <laughs> I feel like whoever this is, they either find you very fun or this person is very fun or they're very giddy because I'm in a very giddy mood right now and I don't know why. But anyway, toodles.